eat, ingredients, culinary, musing, number 407. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Eat Ingredients. This is my first video blog ever. So welcome. Today I am cooking from home as I usually do. And I figured uh, since I have the time, why not uh, do a quick demo of cooking. So here we go. Uh, what we got cooking here is some sautéed mushrooms. And as you can see, the liquid is just about gone, so I'm going to add some filtered water. And we're going to need filtered water because we're going to add some greens, some chicken. So let's get that going again. With the greens, I have uh, Swiss chard, or actually rainbow chard, because it wilts very easily and cooks quickly. Uh, and it goes along with the chicken thigh that cooks fairly quickly as well. But you can use frozen spinach, fresh spinach. Uh, you can use greens, but greens I would recommend sauteing straight away before adding it to the pan here because greens and kale take a while to saute. So, here we are again with our mushrooms, cremony or button cap, doesn't matter. Now, one little secret I have here is uh, I like to add the chicken bones and the skin and the fat in there to give the meat and the dish more flavor as well as make this possible to uh, not stink up the trash can if you miss trash day and uh, it's sitting there and smelling up your place. So there you go, cook that up and then remove it. And uh, for the uh, Gravy, I have uh, some butter tabs and some cornstarch or arrowroot that I dissolved in filtered water. All right, let's stir this around a little bit. Get the uh, fat off the bone and off the uh, skin there. And uh, I'll have some rice later that's been pre-cooked and that'll finish off the dish and put it in a bowl and then you're like okay done. Now one of the things uh, I recommend is uh, if you have a busy week or a stressful week why not go ahead and get your mushrooms and your greens and saute them over the weekend. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to be, depending on whether or not you're using a green that easily wilts and sautés nicely or if you have like a kale that you might or greens that you might want to put in a pressure cooker to uh, uh, cut back on the time it would take to uh, cook it to where it's uh, tender to the tooth. All right, so now that's done, go ahead and let's remove this from the pan, let it cool down, then we can dispose of it in the trash when we are ready. There we go. Once again, if you're making gravy, uh, the extra fat will help the, uh, the, uh, the cornstarch and or arrowroot to uh, congeal better to make your uh, gravy delicious. All right, chicken thighs, I sliced them up. Once again, if you do the prep over the weekend, then you come home, you just cook up your rice, you use meat fresh because that really doesn't stay well once you cook it. It's best to eat it right then and there. 
Uh, all right, now we're going to get this charred. Go ahead and drop that in. You can use as much as you like. Add a little bit more filtered water. Lay it on top. Let this simmer for a little bit for the meat to cook and for the char to wilt. I and mean, you can also pre-cook the rice because uh, that can sit for a day or two and then just warm it up in a microwave and uh, then you're good to go. I forgot to mention that you may want to add some sea salt to taste. Uh, so that way it works in with the uh, gravy and with the other uh, food that's in there. The other ingredients, there you go. Stir that around some more. See uh, the the charge starting to wilt and the meat's getting cooked. It's a little, little, little uh, undercooked right now. Put the lid back on and let this simmer some more. All right, let's start some more. Turn down the heat a little bit more so it doesn't overcook. All right, so this is just about just about uh, good. Now, uh, why don't we go ahead and add the uh, butter and the uh, um, let that melt. Stir that around. Okay, and then let's add in the, uh, the liquid um, filtered water, uh, cornstarch and or arrowroot. Scoop that in. Stir that around. And that'll thicken up the, uh, well, thicken up. The, it's the liquid in there to make turn it into gravy. Now, one thing to remember is that there is uh, some uh, some moisture in the greens, as well as in the uh, mushrooms and the meat. So, make sure you don't want to add too much. You don't want to add too much filtered water, otherwise, then you just have soup and too much liquid to uh, turn into a gravy. All right, now you want to turn up the heat a little bit so that way some of the water boils off and uh, activate the uh, cornstarch arrowroot. And it's okay if you don't have uh, enough uh, cornstarch or arrowroot because uh, you can always add a little bit more, but you just want to be careful that you don't make it too thick and then you start trying to get the balance like oatmeal. Is it too, is it too firm or is it too liquidy? And yeah, that can be a bit of a hassle for you. Especially if you are uh, someone who tries to get your gravy absolutely right. Wait a little bit longer and then uh, 
see what we get here. Green, protein, and the starch, all in one. All right, I'm going to go for a little bit more arrowroot. Turn it down a little bit. All right. Remember, you just want to get a little bit, a little bit, because it's not picking up real fast on you. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, cornstarch arrow root because it's a little liquidy here. And I'm going to try a little bit more butter too because there may not be enough. Uh, of a, a fat in there to uh, make the uh, roux congeal into a gravy. All right. Try one tad. And you can see some of the liquid starting to boil off there. So. Because for me, I, I mean, I, I enjoy eating rice, and sticky rice is great. It's perfect, actually. But if you, if you uh, make uh, your rice uh, better than I do, then it's not going to be sticky and clumpy. Um, and uh, that way, the, with the gravy, the, uh, it just makes everything easy to pick, easier to pick up with a fork or a spoon if you, if you like to eat stew with spoons. Sometimes I do. Nice tablespoon. Sit and watch television or sit and chat. All right. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit more thick, but I added too much water. Let's go with a little bit more butter. A little bit more cornstarch arrowroot. Now what will probably happen is I'll make it too thick and then I'll show you what I mean. You get to see when it's too thick. The gravy is just one block. All right, there you go. All right, now we go. Here we go. All right. Now you want to, uh, 
use a wooden spoon, it's better because it doesn't make the screechy noise. You want to uh, rub the, uh, get the, to the bottom of the pan there just so that way any of the uh, cornstarch or arrowroot doesn't start to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn and then you start to get clumping. So you might even want to turn down the heat a little bit. All right, more, the water's not boiling off as quickly as you like. Go ahead and turn up the heat and stir, and stir, and stir. I'm not going to put any more arrowroot or butter in. I'm just going to let this cook down. And at this point, it's really up to you to determine when your dinner is ready. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the uh, rice in the microwave. Could it be that there be rice? All right, rice. So um, now turn off the burner. Get yourself a serving spoon. Scoop some up. Put it in a bowl. some for later or to share. So here we go. Quick, simple, straightforward dinner. You can eat with a fork or with a spoon. Eat, eat, eat ingredients. So try to make it taste really good. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening.